Hello subscribers, um, welcome to Rough Reviews. Today, or this week, we will be covering the Xbox One reveal announcement presentation. So, so far, all we've gotten to know was, um, nothing too much about gaming, nothing... We've learned a lot about the entertainment system, more of the entertainment, not, not that much of the... The gaming um part like area of the of the Xbox One, but yet still the entertainment they've they're saving basically the reason they didn't add that is because they're saving it for um E3, which kind of makes sense because it would be the this is the biggest game convention of the year, and it seems like a proper time to do that, and so is uh. Uh, Sony and PS4, they're doing that. They're gonna do it during that or after it. So yeah. So that G3 is gonna be a very exciting event this year and all that. But back to what the Xbox One has to offer. It offers so far a lot of more features than the Xbox Xbox 360, obviously, due to um, multitasking, snap. If you don't remember what that was, Snap was uh, where you would, uh, you would, you would be like, for example, watching a movie, and you could uh, pull in Skype or on the web and put it like, maybe on the side of the of the video on the screen, so you can multitask easier, more easy without having to go turn off the turn off the program that you're watching and go onto the website or Skype or the coolest thing was Skype on there. They were actually doing it. They were Skyping from a different person from a different location. And it was very interesting how they did that. It was I like how they did it. It was very cool. Other other features there are also features that people didn't like, such as the what was it? The hard drive. You can upgrade the hard drive manually. You could use flash drives, like that's what I use, but some people rather get like the big really big memory space hard drives but you won't be doing you won't be able to do that um over uh, on the xbox one uh i don't know why they're not doing it there's just maybe a technical issue or something whatever it doesn't matter and uh also new features saved to cloud and that was already but they like enhanced it more so when you would save it to cloud especially the new cloud there's a new version of the cloud and you, if you were to say go over to your uh, friend's house or sign in your profile and play your stuff, your games, you can do that. You will, <laughs> you will be able to sign into your profile on another Xbox, and then all your games will come from the um, the wireless cloud and onto that Xbox, but only if you be, you're signed in. So the person on your Xbox can't like always have those games. Um, Unless you give them your profile and stuff, all that information. Um, also, at the convention, the not the convention, but the presentation was I haven't forgot about the game Forza Motorsport Five. That was very interesting. Um, the what was it? Uh, not Black Ops Two, but new uh, EA engine. That was very interesting. Black Ops 2, new trailer. I'm not Black, Black Ops 2. Black Ops Ghost, the new Call of Black Ops Ghost. Man, I cannot speak today, sorry. <laughs> Call of Duty Ghost. And it, it looked very, very interesting. I liked how they um, set it out, all that. It's very interesting how they do that. They, I've, I'd like to get a little bit more information on how, more on that, on that note. But yeah, it was. Ve I liked it. It the I seen the more emotional attachment they put. They they hired the new uh, director for the game. Uh, not director, but writer. Man, I cannot speak. Today, sorry. But like the new writer would. They they hired him to put more emotion into it, such as in my more the Modern Warfare series. They, they put a lot of motion and stuff into that like great deal of great story and I'm hoping they really amp that up that was one of my favorite things about it great story and 
<sighs> Overall, I would the rating we are going to give. We will be doing ratings on this series also. Rating for this for the Xbox One, but I'm not doing block um Call of Duty Ghost. I will not be I'm doing a rating on that just yet. I still need more information about that. I'm not doing. I, there's no way I'm doing a rating yet. But rating a work in progress rating for the Xbox One at this second would be 8.5 to a nine. And you're probably wondering why would you do that? Because it's it's it still is a work in progress rating. It's they have not revealed everything yet or anything like that. Okay, next subject. On a very very minor note, a couple like last Tuesday, the new. If I'm just doing this, just to throw it out there because this is one of my favorite game series. The new uh, Batman Arkham Origins trailer has re been released. If you like that, go like me. If you're like me, you like that, go look at that. I'm not getting a, a rating for that either because still I need more information. Overall. This has been episode one of Rough Reviews. Um, this is my been my opinions. I don't. Know, these are my opinions on the Xbox One and Call of Duty Ghost. And I I don't have that much and um, information about Forza Motorsport Five or anything. But my brother liked it, and I hope you guys like it too. Like my brother really liked the series, and he plays it. But yeah. Um, this is it for um, Rough Reviews Episode 1. I will be doing... I'm not going to do this every week. Every week, every I'm just going to do it whenever any gaming news comes out. I'll be covering it on a Tuesday. Because Tuesdays, they're game weeks or anything. So guys, have a good day. Goodbye and subscribe.